guys, today I'm going to teach you how to back roll a kneeboard on a boat. This is a fun trick to learn and the easiest flip to learn on a kneeboard. You don't need a ton of air to complete a back roll on a kneeboard as I've seen people do it with just a few inches of air, but I would recommend getting at least two to three feet of air as it gives you more time to spot your landing. Also, if you've never done a backflip in your life, it immensely helps to have the air awareness of what it feels like doing a backflip. If you guys would like, I can make a tutorial on how to safely do a backflip, but for now, I'm just gonna tell you to safely learn a backflip. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do it on the rider's right side of the wake. The technique for doing this on the rider's left side of the wake will be the exact same, just mirrored. There's two ways to learn how to do a back roll. If you have a large wake boat, I'd recommend learning this off of one wake. If you have a small to medium sized wake, I would recommend learning back roll wake to wake. Keep in mind that the techniques for going wake to wake or one wake are the exact same. You'll want to be very comfortable jumping wake to wake. Find out how far you cut when you do a wake to wake and that's where you want to be for doing the back roll. Edge in hard by bringing the middle of the handle into the bone of your right hip while bringing your left shoulder down away from the boat. Right before you're about to hit the wake, you're going to want to flatten your board so your board rides up the wake. As you're popping off the top of the wake, you're going to want to throw your head backwards like you're doing a backflip and simultaneously throw your head to the left to throw yourself into the back row rotation. As you're rotating, be sure to throw your knees up to your shoulders to get you into a tuck position to help you rotate faster. Keep the handle on close to this right hip from start to finish and keep your eyes open to spot your landing. And be sure to land on edge to continue riding. Congratulations, you just learned a back roll. Yo! And here's some pro tips that'll help making the back roll easier to learn. The most common problem I see when people are learning this trick is that they have the rope way too far out. When in doubt, it's better to have the rope too short than too long. This will do two things. It'll make the wake steeper, and it'll bring the wakes closer together, making the gap from wake to wake easier. Find the slowest speed that you can ride at without having the wake wash over. For many boats, this is somewhere between 17 and 20 miles an hour, but may vary. You can also ask your boat driver to turn slightly to the left. This will make the wake steeper, as well as give you less tension on landing to make it easier to learn. Keep in mind that the more weight you have in the boat, the bigger you can make the right wake. You can use fat sacks, lead weight, or people. Move that weight to the side of the boat of the wake that you're hitting. And as always, I want to thank the sponsors of this video, Brian Water Sports, Wake Seas Clothing, and Evil Coffee. If it's your first time here, make sure you don't stress it. You just press it when it comes to subscribe, the bell, and the like button. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you'd like to see in the next one, and we will see you guys next time. Peace out. Yo!